Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release here on June the 3rd, 2019-2020 Upper Deck SP Authentic Hockey. It's a 16 box master case, pick your team number three. Um, pick your team number two sold out, pick your team two and three sold out before pick your team one by the way. That's coming up in a, in a later uh, video later tonight. A very big thank you, and there's a box giveaway too, which we'll do at the end. A very big thank you to all of these folks right here for getting into the action. Appreciate it. If you bought at least three teams, you'll get an entry for that SP Authentic box. Six teams gets you two entries, so on and so forth. Slightly different from what we normally do. On the top camera right here, there is your case. This is my staging area here. Let's pop this open. these boxes over here and let's roll oh right Help chase and pack stack a break of this earlier. These packs are terrible. I would gladly pay Upper Deck if you're listening. SP Authentic solid. It's great even. But I would gladly pay an extra, I don't know, 10 cents a pack for, uh, for better quality on the, on the packaging here. This is why this break's gonna take an hour and a half. <laughs> All right. Box number one of 16. Good luck, everybody. And Blake Lazote, 890 out of 999 Future Watch autograph for the Kings. That'll be for John Carlos Stallone. There you go, John. And we got Sign of the Times, Dirk Graham, Chicago Blackhawks. That'll be for John Carlos Stallone. Back to back. He's heating up. Got Young Guns, Adam Johnson. Authentic moments. Sign of the Times, Morgan Frost. For the Flyers, that's going to be for Jeremy Anderson and Philadelphia. There 
Darkness Spectrum, Mark Stone. For the Vegas Golden Knights, that'll be for John Carlos Stallone. He's heating up. He's on fire. Austin Matthews and Mitch Marner. Next box. Um, I don't know, Jackie. Jason did the first case. I don't know what was in there. Riffer and Wade says yes. There you go. No, these packs are not the worst though. These are pretty pretty bad. But we've had I've had worse. I've had worse. different it must be right it says limited oh that kind of has some red foil right there and a redemption victor olafson i'm going to say is a predator mm, different animal a buffalo saber buffalo that'll go to brad Monroe and the Sabres. Gotcha. So a few of those limited per box. All right. There you go. Plenty of time to redeem it. And we've got Etu Leo Starinen. 301 out of 9.99. Carolina Hurricanes, that'll be for Wade Preston. Connor McDavid, are we saving these Connor McDavid's? Is he like, does he have like the Luka Doncic, LeBron James, Giannis sort of effect? Oilers, John Blacklock.
Because they're bums, Ozzy. Dem bums. Just like a... It's like it took ages for them to win a World Series in Brooklyn, the Dodgers. And then they moved. So I, maybe I don't want the Dodgers to win a World Series. The last time it took that this long for the Dodgers to win a World Series, they left Brooklyn and they went to L.A. Young Guns, Adam Veterner for the uh, Avs. That's going to go to Jeremy Merle. Oh, they had their chances, Joe Lancaster, the Dodgers. At least one instance, though, I can argue that that that, that they were they were uh, they were jobbed. That they were cheated out of a World Series, literally. Wow, the, the, so they're watching some of these peaceful protests here, but in Newport Beach, there is a, apparently a driver of a Mini Cooper careened through this crowd. Didn't hurt anybody, but really busted up this girl's bike. The wheels are bent and everything. I don't know why you would, if you're that person, I don't know why you would do that. There's news crews everywhere. Every person has a cell phone that is capable of taking pictures and video. License plate was just all there. I mean, that's just wild. Yeah. No, yeah, not 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 too smart, I should say. Not too smart. There are uh, attempted vehicular manslaughter are words that come to mind, so which is which is a pretty serious crime. <laughs> better better oh I can't even pronounce those names, Andy. Andy's saying better scrabble name. Mente Kevitz or <laughs> Res Sinsky Sinsky? Yuschek? Maybe, depending on depending on where. Maybe maybe uh, the one with a lot of which one has the most Z's in there. If you uh, maybe get that on a triple word score or something like that. Woo! And we got Bobby Orr, Team Canada. Where does where does he go? To the checklist. Boston. All right, everyone's saying Boston. I'm just going to trust you guys. And that'll be for Riffer. And there's Teddy Bluger, nine six five at a nine nine nine. Penguins. That goes to Brad Monroe, last spot mojo. Got the guy in the Mini Cooper. Uh, Wait, can I, may I please get your information? Because we're going to run down there and try to see if 
Uh, what Andy said. That's how you pronounce it, Gabe. Duh, everyone knows that. <laughs> Duh. No, not the crime of the century yet. I think... Oh, there's a lot of video of it. Meanwhile, he's telling the cops I wouldn't have gotten away with it if it wasn't for you meddling kids. Scooby-Doo style. There's a uh, Nick going to the stars. That'll be for Will Christian. I should hire someone just to open the packs for you? They, they hired me to do that, Gabe. You know what's going to happen? When they hire someone to open up packs, then, then Jaspies might think, well, why not just have that guy just do the break? And then I'm out of a job, Gabe. What then? What then, Gabe? Huh? Wise guy? Oh, there he is. There he is. There's the guy in the Mini Cooper that got arrested. Apprehended. He's got, I think he's got Arizona plates. Get out of here, Arizona. Stop messing things up. Some more spectrum cards. How far do these levels go? What's the what's the shortest level? Three, four. That one is for the Sharks, Mike Lang, the Young Guns. And an autograph behind Sidney Crosby is Kevin LeBanc. Sign of the Times. San Jose Sharks, that's going to go to Michael Lang once again. Level three are the top tier rookies. Gotcha. Gotcha. Another autograph. 
Uh, Future Watch autograph, three forty nine out of three ninety nine. Joey Decord, Ottawa Senators. That'll be for Eric J. Oh, is that, a, is that a retro set? That looks pretty cool. I kind of like it. There's Yakov for the Preds. That'll be for Will Christian. Predators or Panthers? No, that's Predators. Nashville. All right. Next box. All right, so next four. So this is the still the first inner case. Actually making some decent time here. Maybe this break isn't going to take as, as long as I thought. That nice uh, oversized sun slash moon roof on his Mini Cooper. I wanted that option, but it's expensive. It's a good call, Charismatic. I think I will. Doesn't doesn't look like it. The suspect has been arrested. Good good FedEx home delivery product placement. He's getting into the helicopter shot. Good job FedEx. Uh, Newport Beach is where that happened. Some protesters were just peacefully walking down the street, maybe stopping some traffic. This, this guy in the Mini Cooper did not seem did not seem pleased with this. Decide to barrel through. Yeah, I don't know. He was wearing a hat, so I, and it was kind of over his face and from the helicopter shot, so I could not tell. Identifying information about this gentleman. Definitely a guy, though. Well, no, I don't know for sure, actually. I'm assuming. 2020, ladies and gentlemen. Got to respect that. Uh, everything, David, except for veteran comments will ship an SP authentic. Young Guns, Jake, the snake. St. Louis Blues, Wade Preston with Jake Vollman. Is he German? No. I guess probably not Jake Vollman. There's Jake for you. And sign of the times, Jack Orensky. For the Columbus Blue Jackets, that's going to go to Wade Preston. Another one, another one for Wade. This one's for Carolina. This will be for Wade as well. And we got Philip Zadina. 
I'm going to say Calgary. A red, I say red team. Sorry, I don't want to be too specific. Come on, red team. Not Calgary, Detroit, Red Wings. Told you it was a red team. That's a win for me. I'm going to take that as a win. That goes to Riffer. Oh wow, someone must have threw, I didn't notice the, that's what you were talking about Andy, I didn't notice the windshield. Looks like someone threw something at the windshield. Another future watch autograph. St. Louis Blues, Klim, Kostin. That goes to Michael Eng and the, I'm sorry, Wade Preston and the St. Louis Blues right next to each other. Every year I do this, charismatic, get, I'll, get, I'll get one extra name or two under my belt. Is all shredded too. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I think so. NT basketball is still slated for uh, a few weeks from now, from what I remember. Is it next Friday? Already? I have a feel like I, I have a feeling that'll get pushed back like a week or two, but usually what happens, but maybe maybe it'll be on time. I'd like that. That'd be nice. When's the first off the line on sale? First off the line is soon, right? Yeah, get ready. Save up if you want the Pelican. I don't know. That. Oh, we're doing, listen, folks. We'll, we'll we'll try our best to figure out creative ways to uh, to get the Pelicans in your hands. I think we'll I think we'll make them available straight up to some people too, but I don't think that's going to happen all the time. You know, maybe a few people will be spicy about it. Um, maybe grab the Pelican straight up in a few breaks. But I feel like most of the time it's going to be uh, some sort of mini break or a number block or something creative like that to give everybody else a chance for Pelicans too. And we've got... Kale McCarr, he's pretty good, right? 24 out of 99, that's what everyone seems to say. Jeremy Merle with the Colorado Avalanche. Oh, another redemption, Taro Hirose. I feel like he's a blue team. No, a red team, Red Wings. All right, so that go. That's another one for Riffer, I think. Right? He has Detroit. Yeah. Mm. Can't win them all. Uh, well, they 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 won't be Gianni. It's a from. I just learned about a Dutch auction the other day. Uh, it's a Dutch auction. 
So they're starting at $30,000. I'd be shocked if someone actually pulls the trigger at that point. I think some people are guessing that it's going to it's going to settle at about maybe half that, maybe probably less than half. Right? What what is everyone what is everyone thinking? Yeah, there you go. Riffer is thinking 10 to 15. That sounds more reasonable for a first off the line. We'll see if we can end up with any of those. That should be pretty interesting. What am I focusing on? Hughes Brothers? All right. Young Guns, Adam Brooks, Toronto. And it'll be for Jeremy Merle, Last Spot Mojo. Blake Wheeler, Spectrum. Another Spectrum right there. I think Riffer was saying earlier, level three maybe is the, someone was saying level three might be the shortest of prints. That. Nick Galvin thinks 13 to 15 is the, is his guess. Gianni, you'll be willing to go to, go up to 12? Try it, try it at 12. Might get down there. Check out those hit packs, folks, on our Instagram stream. At Jaspi's Breaks on Instagram Live only. Jason Jaspi just dropped the link in the chat. Check that out. There you go. Give that a shot. Specially curated by us just for you. Remember, this channel right here, the one you're watching right now, if you're listening to the sound of my voice, we are booked for the night. We are we are done for the night. We're all, ba we're all backed up all the way to the end of the evening. If you want to still have the itch to break, join Jason at Jaspi's Breaks Instagram. At Jaspi's Breaks Instagram Live only. And some incredible hits that you can pull. If you get, if you get a really big hit, you can take those savings and put it into your, your NT basketball account. I think that was the game plan, right, Johnny? <laughs> if my Lakers are going to lose to any team, it better be to it better be to Zion. So it'd be good for the hobby. That's the worst when it catches on the corner right there. Young Guns, Kale. That'll be for the Kings. That will be for John Carlo Stallone. And we've got Future Watch, two color patch and autograph, Anders Janssen. Nice, our first jersey and autograph out of this case. Toronto Maple Leafs were picked up late. Last spot mojo? No, why does Jeremy Merle have last? So who has real last spot mojo? There's two different names of last spot mojo. Uh, Jeremy Merle with the Toronto Maple Leafs has last. Oh, maybe someone divested themselves of the Maple Leafs and they were picked up again. Well, either way, there you go. 
We've got a Vegas Golden Knight. There's Nicholas Haig to three ninety nine for Vegas. That'll be for John. Ah, apparently one auto patch per inner case. Gotcha. Well, so we'll look forward to one more in the second half. Taylor Hall, Jesper Boquist, Devils, Matt Buckler, and Nick Galvin with the Yotes on that one. All right, last box of this inner case, and you can see on the top of your screen, we've got another inner case. Oh, so the inner case, Karis, if you look at the top camera, there's two cases inside a big case. So they're all sealed. So the big box is right there, and then in that big box are these smaller cases right there. John Sampson, did, uh, did we shut off the stream early? No, we did not. In fact, we went a little late. We went, we went to like 10, I didn't get out of the shop until like 10.30 or so. LA time, West Coast time. And then expertly navigated the back roads of Los Angeles to avoid the 5-0, beat the curfew. I felt like I was, uh, I felt like I was, uh, I don't know, maybe, maybe running between West and East Germany in the Cold War. I felt like I was I was part of the French resistance in World War II. Felt like I was a medieval messenger running between fiefdom to fiefdom. Felt like I was part of a Greco-Roman nation state expertly weaving in between the guards. <laughs> or like Tom Cruise in the movie where he's a hitman. Uh, which was with Jamie Foxx, Michael Mann movie. Collateral? Collateral? Right, so this is one outer case, Karis. That right there, and then that's the master case. And there's two little guys that live in the master case. Yeah, collateral. That's what it was. Good, great shots of uh, Michael Mann. Always, always films L.A. quite, quite well. So, I would watch Heat, and I would watch uh, if you want to get a good, good kind of real look of what L.A. looks like. Watch Heat. Watch Collateral. There's Jacob Slavin for the Carolina. Wade Preston. That'll get you a. Get you a nice, good look at at a lot of Los Angeles places. There's John Marino, 704 out of 999. Uh, for the Penguins, that'll be for Brad Monroe. Yeah, Heat is uh, Heat's pretty fantastic. When's the last time you did a rewatch of Heat, John Sanderson? 
I, I, I don't think I would consider myself a Tom Cruise fan, but every time I think of all these movies that I like, Tom Cruise is in it. So I guess I am. But I wouldn't say, I wouldn't like, that wouldn't be the first thing that comes to my head. And until years ago, someone was like, you like a lot of Tom Cruise movies. I was like, what are you talking about? You love A Few Good Men. You love, <laughs> it's mostly that. You love Top Gun. And it's just like, you know, they start to list all these movies, and they're like, oh, I guess, I guess you're right. Hmm. I've not seen Cocktail in a while. Patrick Goodwin, you watched Heat last night? Start to finish in one sitting? It's a long movie. There's Clem Coaston, St. Louis Blues, Wade. Who's looking for some brothers here, Hughes brothers, Bo Horvat, Vancouver, that'll be for Wade as well, and Dimitro Dimashov, 403 out of 999, Dimitro going to Jeremy Mudd. There's David Ayer's Young Guns. You could watch Heat every month? I think I could watch Heat every month, John Samson. Give me all you got! Give me all you got. He shakes the table. David Ayers, Carolina. Is that actor in that scene? Is he not with us anymore? Give me a, see, my brother Richard, he in Phoenix right now. And he's coming. He knew that you were going to come and see me here this AM. Oh, that's right. Yeah. There you go. That great, great uh, David Ayer story. The emergency backup story, which I really enjoy. Oh, I didn't realize that he was uh, oh, my brother Richard. Yeah, that bank scene with downtown LA. Downtown LA. Yeah, no, Tone Loke's brother in Heat. Tone Loke's still with us. I didn't realize that Richard is Tone Loke, but the, the character in that, forgot his name. <laughs> I've been paging your ass all night. You fall in love? You fall in love? Listen, I can, I can understand that. I can work with that. Give me all you got. Give me all you got. No, so you see my brother Richard, he's... He's coming tonight. He will meet you tonight. Ah, oh, Richard. Phoenix. Phoenix. By the time I get to Phoenix, she'll be rising. She'll leave a note right on the door. That's the first time I experienced that song <laughs> from Al Pacino through, through Heat. And then I was like, wait a second. That's a terrible rendition, Al Pacino. That's a terrible version of the song. I had coffee with Macaulay half an hour ago. Vincent, they dropped all of her surveillance. They dumped it all at once. It's Connor McDavid. But you do not 
get to watch my television set. Ralph, sit down. Sit down! It's another one of my favorites. You ever use that voice with your kids, John Samuelson? When they're young and acting out? I guess they're still young, but when they're acting out? Oh, there's Capo Capo, Future Watch. I've heard of him. Sit down! That's a good dad voice right there. Sit down! And there's Oliver Yorkstrand for the uh, Blue Jackets. That'll be for Wade. You know who they're looking at, John Sand? You know who they're looking at? Us. The LAPD. Police Department. These guys are good. Adam Werner. Werner. Avs. Jeremy Merle. We can prob probably watch Heat in between these two breaks. There's a Vegni Dadonov, Sign of the Times. That's a Florida Panther. That's going to right. Mike Lang with Florida. Seven two one to nine nine nine. Herman Rubstov for the Flyers. Philadelphia Flyers. That goes to Jeremy Anderson. Keeps me sharp, John Samuelson. Where I need to be. That's another one of my favorite lines. Keeps me sharp. Where I gotta be. Great movie. We got a. Uh, we had a. Uh, Young Natalie Portman in that movie too. I think that was that post post specialist, I think it was. That might have been her first well, she's not really starring in it, but Natalie yeah, Natalie Portman plays Al Pacino's daughter in Heat. I think that might have been post Leon. <laughs> yeah, so so you never wanted a regular type life? What is that? Ball games and barbecues? No. I chase guys like you. <laughs> or when Robert De Niro says, "That's the this, I, don't, I can't do a good, well, I can't do a good Al Pacino, but I can't do Robert De Niro at all." And he's like, "But that's the discipline." I like when he says that. That's the discipline. I'm like, yeah, that is the discipline. Professional, not this. What's what movie's the specialist? Is that some Jason Statham movie? Sounds like a Jason Statham movie. What's that scene with Hank Azaria in Heat? Cause she's got a great... You've got your head all the way up it. Ferocious, aren't I? Is the specialist a Stallone movie? What was he doing? Hmm. Who was it? Who did this? Wayne Grow. Wayne Grow. Wayne Grow? Wayne Grow did this?
No, Hank Azaria is is on another 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 level with his voices. He's he's pretty good, best. I just have I just have goofy enough voices to, I guess, make my friends chuckle every once in a while. Attempt to. Nowhere near professional level. That's right, I gotta hold on to my angst. I preserve it because I need it. it keeps me sharp on the edge where I gotta be. The snaps are good. The snaps that Pacino does, that's, that's the key. Pacino's great. Chino is fantastic. Hey, forget how there's Barrett Hayden. Who was looking for him? I think uh, Nick was right. Nick Galvin, wake up. One seven one out of one ninety nine. Future Watch autograph. Barrett Hayden, right on the card as well. Oh, I kind of like that Arizona State patch right there. That's pretty cool. Nice. There you have it. And we got Mackenzie McEachern. 431 out of 999. St. Louis Blues Wade. Oh yeah, what, what do you, how do you what do you think about the show The Hunters, John Samuelson? I like the premise. Definitely like Al Pacino in it. Um, I like how it's stylized. I don't know. I don't know if it was uh, if it was that if it was that as gripping as I thought it would. I mean, I I binged it. I finished it. But I, I feel like I'm just watching it for Pacino. McEachern. I don't know. We don't say it like that. My California accent, Jack B. We say it Mc McEacher in here. That's just my California accent. I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to blame all my mispronunciations on my California accent. Yeah, the lead kid in The Hunters is pretty good. I feel, Yeah, I felt like it dragged a little bit at times. I feel like they could have maybe shaved like 10-15 minutes off of each episode. But I don't know, maybe maybe season two they'll they'll tighten it up. Interesting concept, I thought. Definitely like Pacino in it. That's right, Charismatic. Yeah, it is. Everyone should say it like the way we want to say it. Remember how high Al Pacino's voice was when he was younger? Watch The Godfather. And someone made, I think, was it Mike Tower? Someone made a Dog Day Afternoon reference, too. Yeah. Listen listen to how high his voice is. It's a lot higher. And over the years, he gets older. Hard. There's two distinct phases. There's young Al Pacino phase. And then there's a certain point where he decides, I'm just going to talk like this. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe it was Scent of a Woman where I think it, where a new Al Pacino voice came about. Scent of a Woman. hoo -ah. Put a flame to this place. There's Kale Rosen, Josh's brother, 155 to 999, Maple Leaves. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. Yeah, 
There's Quinn Hughes. There's a Hughes right here out of 999. Vancouver Canucks. There you go, Wade. See, we're getting there. I gotta find his his brother. So we'll save that Connor McDavid too. Tuka Rask, Boston Bruins, and Trevor Moore for the Maple Leafs. There's Joachim Blitzfeld for the Sharks, Young Guns. No worries, Wade. Thanks for getting in, as always. Appreciate that. Oh, let's find the other guy, the other Hughes. All right. Getting there, folks. Got about another half hour to go. And then we'll be, uh, we'll be ready for the next one. Let's continue. Some more spectrum. One for the Bruins. That'll be for Edward Riffer. And another one is for uh, the Islanders. That's Matthew Barzal. Wait, what happens with these? I forget. You scratch that off and you get... Is this the one where you can get the entire set? Or I forget what that that promo is. And we've got Mike Liu, sign of the times autograph. Ah, that's right, that's right. St. Louis Blues, Wade Preston with that one. Right, a bounty code. First fifty to redeem all ninety nine, get a gold set. That's a that's a cool that I think that's a cool treasure hunt, and the rest just get card one hundred Jack Hughes. Okay, gotcha. There's Brady Keeper to nine 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 for the Panthers. 
Michael Langwood, Florida. That's a cool project. Um, have any of you done that before? Hockey fans? How, I, I guess I'm just curious how easy or how hard it is. I'm assuming it's hard. Adam Johnson. And what does that gold set go for on a secondary market? Ooh, I missed on that one. You got a Baja Blast Zero Sugar? And it makes you like feel so crappy after Ooh. it's so good. <laughs> Baja Blast Zero Sugar. <laughs> oh, so it is hard. Yeah, most have to go on eBay and buy to complete. Oh, there it is. That's pretty cool. Cause that, that, that that's an SP authentic tradition. I think it has been for that at least the last few years or so, from what I remember. Ripping this. And I always thought I always thought that's a cool idea. I wish they I wish more manufacturers would uh, adopt that idea, especially for like these base heavy products. Maybe this would be a good like tier one or tier one, the series one sort of thing and for tops. Imagine being buying all of them, not being one of the first 50. Yeah, what happens there? Like, is there a list that is saying, oh, only 48 left, only 32 left, you know, only five left. Do they do a countdown or how do you know who's the first 50? Is there transparency from Upper Deck? Follow the money. Follow the money, ladies and gentlemen. Who's winning all those gold sets? Or who's redeeming all those gold sets? That's a good question. Do you have to have the same base level when redeeming? Because Nick Stanley sees levels ones and twos. There's also threes, apparently. We'll look at the rules again in the next box. I think, was it UpperDeckBounty.com? I'm sure it has all the extra details. Got a Darnell Nurse, Nick's brother, going to Edmonton. That will be for John and the Oilers. That's for Carolina. Tara Vinen, Tuvo Tara Vinen. There's Adam Brooks, Young Guns. For Toronto, it'll be for Jeremy. And Cody Glass, 522 out of 999. It's another one for Vegas, John Carlos Stallone.
Ooh, nice. McCarthy recruiting people for that uh, that hit pack on jaspies.com. There's Clem Coaston again, 278 out of 999. St. Louis, Michael Ang. That tower is not going to make it. Gotcha. So Riffer is saying that that the whole, that chasing that set is most likely the people who are buying cases of this stuff at a time are going to be the ones that end up with with the sets, and it's more of like a bonus for them as opposed to a priority. I got gotcha. you. How is have you seen the gold sets, Riffer? Is it is it like packaged nicely? Is there a nice container? What, what's the story? It doesn't doesn't say what what the parallels is, but I'm sure there's all the details there. Gotcha. Rivers like I actually know most most of my hockey crew <laughs> give up after a couple weeks and just end up selling the cards with the codes. You know, one year, one year we're gonna do it. I could think of a cool. I don't know. We will have to think of a way where we where Jaspies will keep all those code cards. Redeem them for the gold and then randomize it to one person. How about something like something like that? Or maybe I'll just buy cases on my own and just do this. There's Igor Chesterkin. Brad Marchand. Carson Kuhlman. Both Bruins there. There's a Future Watch card and a Spectrum FX card. Both for Riffer and the Bruins. And Kirby Doc. Chicago. I'm saying Chicago Blackhawks. Got it. John Salone with that one.
Next autograph, future watch autograph. That's Jesper Boquist for the New Jersey Devils. That's going to be for Matt Buckler. There you go, Matt. box to go ladies and gentlemen good luck almost there stay on target we have another full case sold out which we will do a little bit later tonight I think that's after the baseball mixer and that should bring us all to the to the end of the night We haven't seen the, the patch auto. Someone was saying earlier in this break that it's about patch auto is one per inner case. So maybe we should expect that in the next box or two. Is it right there? With that one? Yeah, I think that might that, that might be it right there. Stomkos. There's David Ayers again, Young Guns. Young Guns. Hurricanes, that'll be for Carolina, Wade. And we've got Max Jones for the Ducks. And we've got Steven Stomkos and the Tampa Bay Lightning, Wade. Save all those Connors for Edmonton, John Blacklock. And there's the patch auto. It's going to be Future Watch. 
for the Blue Jackets. Alexander Tashir, Tashera, Mark Tashera. Three color patch and autograph. I keep wanting to say that, but everyone says it's not the right way. So, whatever that name is, that goes to Wade Preston and the Columbus Blue Jackets. There you go. Is he a good player? I don't know. Nice patch. Yeah, it is nice patch. And there's Max Verano, 906 out of 999 for the Senators. That'll go to Ottawa. That'll be for Eric J. A good player, says Riffer. There you go. That's always good. Makes me happy. All right. Next box. Richard, sorry to ask during a break. No worries. Is there a chance... A break from 518 would still be a no, no chance. The tracking, yeah, the shipping has been crazy due to the pandemic, Richard, but once you get a tracking number that is picked up by our local post office and it's in progress. Thing is, they've just been so slammed that they're not scanning per at each stop like they usually would do during normal times. Just unfortunately, we just have to wait. We've had, we've had some people get their stuff on time, early even, and we've had some people wait three, four weeks. So, I mean, even if it takes a long time, it'll not too much investigating is happening either. But a lot of times, it's just super delayed. It'll just end up end up there. Contact you. Well, that's what, that's what I was kind of getting to. Charismatic. Contact USPS. A lot of, I mean, a lot of times they're just going to be like, "Wait, that's what they've told us." You know, because they're like, they don't they don't have time to track down everything either. I've seen things where it gets thrown to the wrong bin, ends up in New York, and then comes back around to where someone is in California. We've we've seen all sorts of all sorts of crazy things here. Just, just got to be patient. I mean, and something to keep in mind before you place orders, ladies and gentlemen. If you're not prepared to wait or, uh, and, you know, cut, a, cut the post service a little slack, you know, this might not, not, might not be the time for you to buy. All right, we made it. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Now these will take me about an hour and a half, huh? Okay. Young Guns, Mitchell Stevens for Tampa Bay. That'll be for Wade. Oh, there's that car just barreling through people. That's terrifying. Sign of the Times, Dustin Brown. Sign of the Times... Uh, for the Kings, that'll be for John Stallone. I know. Yeah, I, I think, I think, I don't think she was thinking of sounding cool on video, Teddy. I think she was terrified for her life. Look at that car. That's the guy. What hat is he wearing? All right, there's Rudolph Balsers. Not sure where he goes. I have no guess on this guy. He is in Ottawa Center. There you go. Yes, thank you, Wade. You're spot on. That is for Eric J. Oh, here's the suspect's friend. He had a, a friend whose dog had just got puppies. 
Wow, local news about all the And so, and then out of the blue, on his way, we called and he said, Hey, Mr. Sheriff, you know, I'm going to be the Oh, man, oh, right. Blame them. Jake Wallman. My hearts and prayers go out to everybody, especially my friend. And, uh, Wade Presson with Jake. Leon Dreisadal, Spectrum, and Taro Hirose, Future Watch. Again, we talked earlier, is that out of character for him? Totally out of and Alex the Brincat at the end. There you go. We made it, folks. Thanks for hanging with me. Let's give away a box of SP Authentic, this current edition. you got to buy at least three teams. There you go. See that on your screen right there to get a current edition. In fact, I have it right here. How about that? That's the one we're giving away. That very one. So let's go to this list right here. Thanks, Wade. I made it. I appreciate people being in here, though, to help me out. All right, so you got to get at least three. Brad got at least three. That's one. Edward got at least three. That's an entry. John got it. Got how many is that? That's five. So those count. That's an entry. Wade got six, so that's two entries. Six gets you two. All right, there you go. So not too many people in line for this box. Five, one in five chance, one spot in five is going to get the box after Snake Eyes, two times, easy. One, two, name on top, Brad Monroe. Congrats to you, Brad. After two times, you're going to get this sealed box right here. Congrats to you. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Let's do a quick autograph recap. Nice patch autos. That was nice. Bobby Orr, Boston. And there's the rest right there. We started out with Lizzo. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Joe for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.